Building services are the equipment and tools that is actively or passively designed and installed into buildings to provide mechanical ventilation system, air conditioning system, active fire protection system, passive fire protection system, and mechanical transportation system. Standing tall in Damansara Padana, PJ Trade Center is an office development designed by architect Kevin Mark Law with considerations to an economically and environmentally sustainable construction. There are four towers which makes up the PJ Trade Center. The scope of our study is centered on Block A of the building Manara Mustafa Kamal is a 22 stories tower operated by MK Group, connected to the other block by an 2.5 arc plaza. There are two types of mechanical ventilation system supply mechanical ventilation and extract ventilation system. Supply ventilation is used to deliver fresh air from the exterior environment to enclosed spaces. For example, a HU room, fire pump room, and fire staircase. Meanwhile, extract ventilation is used to remove heat, stale air, and contaminants in required spaces, such as basement parking, lift room, and other utility rooms in basement. Air conditioning system. There are two types of air conditioning used in tower air: centralized air conditioning system and split unit system. In the centralized air conditioning system, air handling units are located at every level of the building to distribute cool air to the indoor spaces. Cool air is produced by using chill water from the chiller plant. On the other hand, cooling towers located at the rooftop supplies cool water to the chiller plant to remove heat from the chiller. With these components working concurrently, heat is transferred from the indoor spaces to the exterior environment on the rooftop. This system is used as the main air conditioning system in Mustafa Kamal Tower of PJ Trade Center. Meanwhile, the split unit system is found in the lift motor room to remove heat and prevent overheating of the machinery. The split system is used instead of a centralized system as it is enough to cool down the small lift motor room. Active fire protection it is defined as to protect a building from fire with the component of fire detection and prevention which react to action or motion. The main function of an active fire protect system is to detect, alert, and seek to eliminate any potential fire hazards, ensuring a safe and hazard-free environment for the safety of the building and the users. There are a few subcategories for active fire protection. Firstly, alarm detection system and devices, which include smoke detectors, cold points, alarm bells, and anything that allows for the detection and warning of a fire. Secondly, water-based systems such as external hydrants, sprinklers, wet risers, and hose reel systems. The water tank, pumps, and pressure valves are all located at the fire pump room in basement 7. In general, the water from a specific water tank is pumped into the pipes to their respective systems. Wet risers and hose reel as well as fire extinguishers are all replaced in fire cabinets on each floor, which are close to the lift lobbies. Lastly, non water based system, which include fire extinguishers and an automatic carbon dioxide extinguishing system that floods the room with CO2, placing air and removing a part of the heat triangle. Passive Fire Protection System The objective of passive fire protection is achieved through evacuation, compartmentation, and firefighting access. During fire breakouts, the occupants are led to the assembly prime via horizontal and vertical axis where the travel distance from within a compartment to an alternative exit is limited by UBBL 5th schedule to allow the occupants to flee in time. The firefighting shaft provides the fireman access to fire staircases and firefighting lifts to carry out fire rescue service. The shaft links all necessary floors by overbuilding, providing at least 2 hours of fire resistance to protect fire crews to carry out fire and rescue service. Compartmentation of building function to limit the spread of fire by confining the fire by space segregation with the use of fire rated walls and doors, as I try to protect the shaft and help to hinder spread of the fire. Mechanical Transportation System Lift Lobby The lift lobby is a space for users to gather and wait for the arrival for, of the lifts. Sufficient space is provided which allows for the comfortable circulation in and out of the lift. Gearless Traction Lift System Gearless lift systems do not require a motor as traditional geared traction lifts, connected directly to the driving shift located on the top of the lift shaft. Lift system consists of a lift cabin which holds and transports the users, the lift shaft a fireproof vertical slide which also houses it, and a motor room which houses the lift motor and controls. Fire Lift the fire lift is equipped with a fire service mode which allows firefighters to bypass emergency protocols with a fire service key to access higher floors of the building.